the circuit on the right is modified. Now what will happen to the ammeter reading if firstly the battery voltage is doubled and secondly if the resistance is doubled keeping the same voltage. So first of all the ammeter is measuring current. Here it is. The ammeter is measuring current and that's the flow of charge around the circuit. If we double the voltage, the supply voltage, now think of the supply voltage as the kind of electrical pressure which is forcing charge around this circuit and back again. So if we double the pressure of the of this circuit, if you like, the electrical pressure, then it makes sense that we're going to increase the flow. And in fact, if you double the pressure, you'll double the flow. So here we will double the flow of charge, and the flow of charge is the current. So the analogy with a, a pipe of water and a, a, a pump, if you like, and if you double the pressure that the pump is pushing the water around, it, it actually works quite well. You double the pressure, you double the flow of water, i.e. the electrical current. Okay. What if the resistance is doubled? So we're just keeping the same voltage this time, but we're going to double the resistance. Well, this is like perhaps holding a hose pipe and squeezing the hose pipe here, so it's twice as difficult for the water to flow through. And it's the same kind of thing with the electrical charge. It becomes more difficult for the electrical, electrical current to flow through the resistor if we double the resistance. And so what would you expect to happen to the ammeter reading? Well, if we restrict it by making it twice as difficult for it to flow, then the current will be half of its original value. So here, the current will halve. Now all of this can be seen from the equation V equals I times R. If you rearrange this equation so that the current I is equal to V divided by R, if you double the voltage then we can see that it makes sense that the current is also doubled. But if we double the resistance then this is a divider. It's going to halve the current. But just for the moment, it's best to think of the voltage as electrical pressure. And if you double the pressure, you double the current, double the flow. And if you double the resistance, it's twice as hard for the current to flow. So therefore, you'll only get half the current. Hope that makes sense. See you in the next flashcard.